Hello, Taurus. Um, I was, um, this is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and R Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I don't know. I was, like, drawn to do a reading for you guys. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going to come out. Um, what I'm getting is that someone is really eager to speak to you. Um, they feel they need to talk with you like it's, like, an emergency. But don't let that fool you because really it's not. I think that someone's trying to, like, get in touch with you. And for some reason, their messages are not getting through to you. Um, I truly feel that it's because of, um, someone is protecting you. That's what I just truly feel because... I don't believe a message would be someone trying to get in touch with you, like, desperately. No loved one is sick or anything like that. It's just because someone's trying to get a hold of you. Like, they, I think they're, you have not been contacting someone for some time now. And they are, like, feeling like they're about to, like, they're itching their pants to speak to you. I'm so serious. Um... I don't think, I think this person kind of has a big ego, so I don't think they want people to know that they're trying to contact you. Maybe this will make them look some type of way. For whatever reason, this person has a really big thing about what people, worried about what people think. Okay, so they're very, very, they, they, if they don't get the correct, uh, I modify these cards myself, and I kind of wish I didn't do that. <laughs> I kind of took the border off of them. Um, and I... And I think that they regret something. They're regretting something and they can't tell you that. Um, they feel scared. They feel afraid. But for some reason, they're in a rush to get in touch with you. Isn't that kind of crazy? Like, they're scared and afraid, but they cannot, um, for whatever reason. Well, I know basically the reason, but... Um, they just can't get in touch with you. Like, it's like, it's not going through the messages. So, I'm going to do a reading here. Whatever comes out, comes out. I'm going to see what my angel answers have to say first. Just so they can kind of guide me into what's, what, what's be, what I'm being led to do here. Um, another reason why I believe I'm doing this reading is I love reading Taurus's energy. I love, to, a, I love Taurus. Taurus women, Taurus men, you guys are just like, your energy is amazing. High vibrational Tauruses. Uh, low vibration, you know, no offense, but, you know, I'd rather just keep 50 feet. But, <laughs> it's not to be mean, it's just that sometimes low vibrational Tauruses just don't have the kind of mind frame that I like to be around. Some low vibrational Tauruses are still pretty cool people, I'm not going to lie. But I wouldn't be around them 24-7. I wouldn't want to just read into the type of energies all the time. Because I think they're kind of like, you know, just haven't really evolved. You know, so let's see at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, forgiveness. I told you, somebody's looking for some type of forgiveness from you, Taurus. And yes, perfect timing. Listen to your intuition. Yeah. So, we got forgiveness, yes, perfect timing, and listen to your intuition. I told you, I, w I felt like I was led. Let me turn on my other light so you guys can see. I feel like I was led to do a reading, and I feel like someone's trying to get in touch with you. And they're making it seem like it's a big-ass emergency, Taurus. They're making it seem like they have to get in touch with you. But for some reason, the readings, um, not the readings, but the messages are being blocked. Under forgiveness, we have weight. Like, you know, before you make any decisions towards dealing with this individual, I don't know who it is, but please be careful, okay? It, it has listened to your intuition here. We have wait, and we have peaceful resolution, and then we have look for a sign, then we have helpful people, then unlikely. Like, you know, like, I kind of like to look through these angel answers because they it can, it, it's a broad expansion, you guys, of people, you know, that are looking at these. And some people have questions, but, um... Under forgiveness, it says wait. That's what I was basically looking for. But then we have yes, perfect timing, and listen to your intuition. So whatever you might be asking a question that might be in your mind, it doesn't even have to be about a person, just anything. Just know that the angels are saying yes, okay? Um, you know, will you move on from this person? Maybe yes. You know, will you guys get back together? Maybe yes. Um, 
you know, should I reach out to someone or should they reach out to me? It's the perfect timing. Should I be healing right now? Perfect timing. Uh, is this person for real when they come back? Use your intuition. You know, just just put the answers, put the question, put the angel answers where you see fit. Okay, but I'm going to try to get some tarot out here. Let's see what this forgiveness is for. Spirit, can you give us one card for this forgiveness card here? Because I just feel like someone is like really like... I don't know. I just felt the need that I needed to message you, Tauruses. I don't know. That's how that's how strong it was coming through. It was just like someone is like, but it's like an, it's irritating in a way because this person's like, sorry guys, because this person is like trying to get in touch with you, but I don't. It's like it's a big ass emergency, and it's not. Four of Swords. Yeah, here we go. Four of Swords is right under forgiveness. Yeah. Um. Taurus, you come, you come to realize that you're forgiving someone that did something to you, okay? I think this person, you know, this is the healing card. This is resting, you know, taking, recuperating, getting, you know, it's the four swords right after the three, basically, okay? So somebody's trying to get their life back in order, or get their heart, get together, healing. And the reverse, to me, it means that you're coming out of this period, like you're starting to heal yourself. You're, you're really starting to actual, actually have done the work in a way, okay? So, what I'm getting here, and it's right under this forgiveness. So, what I'm getting here, Taurus, <clears throat> is that you you have forgiven someone. You have forgiven someone. And you know what? You know what's crazy? When that happens, you heal, literally. It, whether you cry, whether you sit in solitude, whether you just don't contact the same people anymore, whether you're not dealing with mutual friends, or you're just, like, chilling. Like, completely, like, keeping people away from your energy. You know, just so that way you can breathe, so that way you can feel for yourself, you know, think for yourself, deal with yourself, okay? So the four swords in reverse, I'm not surprised, yeah. You've forgiven someone, and I think that they feel that. You know, they rather you be anim have animosity against them, Taurus, you know what I mean? So that way that they can still hold that grudge. So you could be holding a grudge against them, and they can still have your energy. Let me tell you something, Taurus. When you have that type of grudge feeling, and when you're not healed, and someone can feel, people can feel energetically. Even if they're not very intuitive, they can still feel your energy that you're mad or you're sad. You're still giving them, like, energy. You, you know, that somebody might have hurt you really bad. Like, the, it could have been a third, I feel like a third-party situation. You found out somebody was not legit, okay? And they were putting off the persona that they were. They were fuck boys, a fuck girl. They were not even worth your time, and you thought that they were. It took you a long time. You went into hermit mode. You dropped people that you used to deal with all the time and be cool with because they're just mutual friends with this person, and you don't want your business out there like that. You don't want this person to know anything. It ain't really about this specific person. It's just about yourself going within, trying to figure out, you know, listening to yourself, trying to figure out, you know, what do I need to change about myself? Because at first, Taurus, I think you really blamed yourself. And I think this forgiveness card is also forgiving yourself. Because, Taurus, I think for a while you blamed yourself for a very long time for what had happened. You thought it was your fault, this person going out doing what the F that they did. We've got the four swords in the reverse, and then we got the four cups in the upright. Yeah, they don't try to come in and offer you some. I told you, somebody's trying to get in touch with you, okay? And they're acting like it's a big emergency. You don't forgive yourself. You don't forgive this person. You're starting to have completely healed, okay? If you're not all the way healed yet, Taurus, you're there. You're there, okay? So do not, do not feel... Like, there's, like, this time limit. Like, you have to hurry up. Because I said, there's somebody that wants to message you that's, like, it's a big freaking emergency. It's not an emergency. This person just wants to get to you because they feel that you're healing. You're forgiving them. It's pissing them off. They kind of want to fight with you. And I don't mean physical physical fight, like, beat you up, scratch you, scratch, you know. Could be. I'm not. So that's, that's for some people. But, you know, but I feel like this person just wants to argue with you. They want you to, they still want your energy. Do you get what I mean? Let me, okay, see, look, look this, is, this is where it comes down to, me trying to, Spirit, please give me some fire here, yes, because I'll be having a hard time doing it with the lighter. See, I gotta clear the air, I gotta clear, I gotta clear the energy. I feel like this person is, this person is um, trying to get a reaction out of you. And I don't like their energy at all, Taurus. I'm not going to lie to you. I do not like their energy at all. I don't. Spirit, please. Thank you. Clear it. Yes. Clear the energy. 
because it just seems like this person is just really trying to get to you for whatever reason you think you think this person doesn't give a damn Taurus okay stop believing that this person just does not give a damn because they do they're portraying like they don't care they do okay they do they just they, they're sitting around and they're waiting for you to message them you know um because you're not messaging you're not messaging them you're not they're feeling you for they feel that you're like leaving them behind uh, excuse me oh gross sorry guys that comes sometimes i don't know where that comes from but they feel that you've forgiven them taurus okay and they can feel that and when you forgive someone your energy starts kind of they stop feeling you you know what i mean they don't feel that that heartbreak that sadness that longing that trying to get answers for yourself and they feel they're feeling stupid right now um sorry cross watchers but you are you're feeling kind of dumb for what you've done to taurus okay and this could have happened uh see we got the queen of yeah we got under the yes we got queen of swords and knight of pentacles okay so this person now when they were slow in the in the in the past to make a decision to make you an offer now here they want to come making you one do you see what i'm saying now they're not wanting to go so very slow i think that the queen the the knight of pentacles in the reverse is meaning that someone's trying to get their they're, they're trying to speed up now okay that's what i think it is they're not in the knight of swords quite yet but they're 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 getting out that that slow stage they're trying to be that little patient you know before they were like trying to really uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a pen. Of, I'm, I'm gonna give you an offer, but I, um, uh, yeah, whatever. I ain't too worried about it. But now they're getting worried. Okay, now they're getting worried. They're feeling like they because they feel your healing, Taurus. They feel your healing. You're coming together. Your your forgiveness is giving them the the heebie jeebies. Like they can't deal with you trying to heal yourself. Like they don't want that. They don't want that. They rather have you in a, in like this. You know, and see, we got the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Like, this person's big mad, okay? They're big mad. Queen of Swords in the reverse, to me, is like, um... And see, I don't, I, you know, I know at the beginning of the reading, I said, you know, this, the answer, yes, could mean that you're getting back together or whatever. Take this as it resonates, Taurus. But to me, I'm getting that this is a, this is a yes to keep yourself away from this person. If you're asking, should I stay away from this person? You probably should. This person, like I told you, wants to fight. They want to argue with you. They want to rise out of you because they haven't felt your energy. Your energy is like pulling away from this person. Energetically, they're feeling that pull. It's not like it was like lingering like it used to be. Like, you know, it's kind of going away, kind of sticking, kind of going away. You know, that limbo-like type of feeling. Now they're feeling that pull away. And here, they, 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 here, here they're starting to get kind of impatient. They're starting to get a little upset, you know. And it's not really towards you. It's just they're upset with themselves because they let it get this far. Do you see what I'm saying? They feel upset with themselves because... They they let things get out of hand, Taurus. They let things they let things get out of hand when they put you in that damn third party. When they was out there trying to be sneaky. Perfect timing. Eight of Cups. Look at that, Taurus. Like that's not this see, I can't even make this I can't even make this up if I wanted to. I'm not sitting here digging in no cards and you don't see me putting the cards under here doing this. I'm sitting here shuffling and this is what's coming out. Because I'm already past the yes. I was going towards the timing. And this is what it is. It's the perfect timing for you to walk the hell away from this person. I, it, I feel like they just want to fight with you, Taurus. Okay? I honestly feel that. I feel this person just wants to come back. And, you know, now is the perfect timing for you to actually do the complete walking away. Like I said, that pull. What we got here, forgiveness, four, four swords in the reverse. You were on a healing, you know, the four is after the three. You were on this healing, you know what I mean? You're trying to, like heal yourself and you weren't i don't think taurus you were healing yourself um in a way for everybody else to know you were healing do you get what i'm saying you did your healing on the way you knew how to do it okay i'm not saying that it was most healthy in some people some of you were probably drinking some of you were probably staying in bed longer than you should you know um not really moving around too much probably eating a lot overeating or not eating properly worrying you know but that's part of the healing phase. It's, it's the ugly parts people do not see. So then when you come out of this healing phase and then you're you're in this, 
you're in this this power of yours people don't see they don't see the what the hurt the hurt and stuff and, and what it took for you to heal they don't see that all they see is oh you fell off you know oh you fell off from the face of the earth you were mia and nobody knew where you were bro you know or sis what's been going on none of your damn business that's what's been going on okay because if i withdrew from you people there's for it's for a reason spirit's saying it's the perfect time to walk away from these people or this specific person that might be involved with these people because they're not healthy for you. And you know this, Taurus. You know this, loves. You know this. I don't know why. Something moved me to put this message out. Because some of you may already know this. And some of you may not. I had to use my... I had to light... Look, you guys. I had to light this. Do you get what I'm saying? I had to light my sage. I had to. I had to do it. Because this energy is just confrontational. It's, it's very immature and it's arrogant. It feels like you've done something wrong because you picked up yourself and you've done gathered your heart back to peace. Back, it, was, it was in smithereens. It may not be completely healed, Taurus. I get that. But someone is just angry because you're doing better for yourself. You're loving yourself. And this is this is perfect timing yeah you need to walk away there's eight cups here you might have gave this person eight different opportunities to change you know you might have actually packed your bag eight months ago maybe damn maybe even eight years maybe i'm even getting 18 months i'm even getting 18 months you guys no no cap no 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 joke for real i'm getting even 18 months that is sticking out to me very very highly even 18 months ago, and it's been taking you so long to heal through this, okay? And this person thought you was going to come back. That's the thing. They thought you were coming back, but Spirit's saying it's the perfect timing. You know, you done did forgiveness. You done went through the healing, and Spirit's very proud of you, might I say that. They condone. They, they, they condone. <laughs> Sorry. They, 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 they give you your props for it. And so do I, Taurus. Because you, you went through some hell. It's not showing through the cards. All the blood crying. The headaches and the sleepless nights. And those bags under your eyes the next day. Going to work or, you know, going to work out. Or whatever you were doing during the day. Or around family and stuff. Just trying to keep yourself together. Because I don't think you were just wanting this person back heavily. I think you were just like in... In a, in a fog, like, how the hell did this person do this to me? How the F did I not see the sign? Like, I think you were beating yourself up. That's why I said this is also self-forgiveness. Taurus, you did not, you, 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 you don't need to beat yourself up, man. We, we do this every day, Taurus. Not just you. As human beings, we do this every day. It ain't just you. You guys are the bull, okay? So you're stubborn. So a lot of times when you do do things you kind of take it out on yourself when things don't go right or if money ain't looking right sometimes you kind of beat yourself up like you've done something so terribly wrong to yourself now if you went out and you spent five hundred dollars on something on offer up okay you know it was used and you probably could have bought it for 200 at the store for brand new not even touched unboxed okay i guess you feeling a little bad for that but something that's really out of your control. You guys beat yourself up and you need to stop doing that. Now let's see. If, I'm sorry, you guys. I love talking. Use your intel. Listen to your intuition. We got the sun card. Listen to your intuition. Listen to it. It's gonna make you, it's gonna make you feel good. Okay? You walking away from this person. It's gonna make you feel good. Perfect timing to walk away. Now you're listening to your intuition. Now you're happy. Because before Taurus. <clears throat> You weren't, okay? I know you want to portray that this person made you so happy. They used to be your wish fulfillment. But I think you had an inkling that this person just was not right. I think you had just a tiny bit of an inkling that something was not adding up. And you kind of ignored it because you loved the shit out of this person. And really, honestly, I'm not, not going to lie to you, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? That's why self-forgiveness was needed through this healing too. Self-forgiveness and forgiveness of this other person. We got weight up underneath here. Wait, okay? Wait before you make actions. Wait and think before you speak. Wait when you get that message. Wait and think before you send anything back to this person. Because I'm telling you, they're trying to come back along. They see you've healed and they want to argue with you. I don't know why I get that strong feeling. Spirit says it's the perfect time to get your bags and to pack them emotionally. You did it physically a while ago. 
I don't think this was yesterday and I don't think this was 24 or 72 hours ago. It's been a good minute. You walked away just like this person walking away. You did that to this person, okay? Emotionally, though, you left those cups with that person. You left your energy with that person. Now they're starting to feel these cups disappearing, all right? Because you've been putting that love and emotions into your damn self, okay? They feel that, Taurus. I hope you don't think that I'm joking. They feel it. And it's the perfect time, the perfect timing that you packed away those emotions and took those with you, too. Your energy, your emotions, all of that. You could leave someone, you could walk away from someone physically, Taurus, okay? And then you still have emotions still there, all right? It's It happened, it's happened to me so many times, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm like, you know what, damn it, I'm done. You know, I ain't taking this no more. You know, you done did me wrong. This is going to be the last time. I walk out, got my badge, you know, or they got their badge because normally I don't need to, I don't need to leave nowhere. They they around me, okay? <laughs> not trying not trying to cap, they just stay around me. But when I have had to get my bags and stuff, I've walked away physically and I'd be, you know, I'd be out. They message, they text and stuff. Two hours later, you know, what's going on? Why are we doing this? And you for real and da da da. And my emotions are still kind of tackling me. I'm like, you know, am I doing the right thing? You know, do well, you know, maybe we can get back together. But you know what? There's 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 been that time when I was like, yo, yeah, I, I I'm out. I'm out. But emotionally, in my mind, Taurus, I didn't check out. I told this person, that person before, that I was, you know, dealing with and I felt so attached to. I told them, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm good. But really, I was really feeling so hurt I had to tell that person that because I really didn't want to. But you know why they put me in the situation in the first place? To have to say that, to have to physically pack my things and go. Why did they have to do that to me? Do you see what I'm saying? So even though it hurt me inside and I walked away emotionally, uh, physically, I didn't walk away emotionally. Now this person's feeling you healing and you're taking these, ooh, ooh, ooh. I, just, I was about to burn my damn car. What? You know what? Get your ass over. <laughs> now they're feeling that you're emotionally packing. Do you see what I'm saying? Them emotions is starting to, they starting to feel that. You know, you ain't messaged this person. You ain't been running down they, they messenger. You ain't been running around asking about them. They know this. They know it and they feel it. Use your intuition. It's going to make you feel completely happy. It's going to illuminate some things too. Uh-huh. It's going to make you happy like this little child on this little horse. That son looking over them. them son, them, uh, is those daisies? Yeah, those daisies just, the, just, the, just running through the wind. I'm telling you, Taurus. You're going to be so happy that you used your intuition because guess what? You ain't giving this person another opportunity to play you, okay? Like I said, you walked away physically, but perfect timing is to walk away emotionally. These Eight of Cups, you could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's a lot of swords here, okay? Enough. You could be dealing with the Leo, okay? Any Leo around you, any Leo in your life, you might have any of these signs in your chart. You can be dealing with the Capricorn, a uh, Taurus Virgo, a Taurus like yourself, you could be, don't have to be, you don't have to be dealing with none of these signs, but someone's embodying this energy, and it could be you, okay, it could be you, it's you embodying these energies, or it could be vice versa for cross watchers watching, this could be, you know, you, leaving a Taurus that did you dirty, it could be either way, but what I'm stating is, I'm reading for a Taurus, so I just felt like I had to do a reading for Tauruses, for my Taurus gang, Somebody been trying to play you like a fool in the past. You know? Let's get another card for use your intuition, Spirit. Can we get another card for use your intuition? Use your intuition, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep, you're not playing the fool no more. Use your goddamn intuition. I'm so sorry, you guys. I get... I, I get to cursing sometimes, you know, I'm trying to, to work on that. So please be patient with me, my loves, okay? I'm, I'm really working on it. But when spirit confirms what I've been saying, it just, it makes me excited. I get emotional. Spirit understands my emotions. They do. They, <laughs> they sometimes be like, Lauren, calm down now. You know, damn well you ain't had to do all that. Okay, I know, I know, I know, spirit. Yeah, I, I do need to chill. But use your intuition. You got the sun card and you got the fool in the reverse. You're not doing it, Taurus. You're not doing this. Crosswatcher or Taurus, you're not dealing with this no more. This person's feeling like a fool, and you're not going to play the fool anymore. That's why you're told to listen to your intuition. It's telling you something. 
before Taurus, you weren't listening to that mother effort for the life of you. You just, you knew you felt something, but you just didn't really know what it meant. You didn't know what it was. And now that you're getting the clarity, you're, you're knowing what it is. Use your intuition. The sun in the upright and the fool in the reverse. Look at that. Look at that kid, happy as hell. Because things have been illuminated. They, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Look at how, look at how happy that kid is. I'm telling you. And then look at this, the fool. Just in the reverse. Just not doing it. Up, right? You about to walk over that cliff. You got your bag with you. The arms are out. You know, you got the music in your ears. You're listening to your, um, to your music. You know, you feeling good. But... Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to run off this cliff and do whatever the hell I want. I don't care if I fall on my ass. I, I'm. I'm in love. I'm in love. You were, but now you're not playing that fool no more. You're listening to your intuition. You know exactly what this person's coming with. You know, you know, Taurus. You know, Crosswatcher. You know. Mm hmm. And this person ain't doing so good. They're not doing very well. That's probably not a pinnacles in the reverse. That's probably the reason why this person wants to reach out to you. They're not doing very well money-wise. I have a feeling, Taurus, you guys being the hard workers and the nurturers that you are, a lot of you guys are healers. But you overextended your love and energy to this person when they weren't giving you and they weren't giving you anything. Not enough for what you were giving out. No. Let's get one more for perfect timing. It's the perfect timing to go to calmer waters because this person's just gonna keep you in your head. It's time for you to get out of this Eight of Swords energy for good. It's the perfect timing. Look, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Look at this. Eight of Cups was here first. Okay, Taurus for perfect timing from the angels. Then Six of Swords is right in the middle. That came out first. And then the Eight of Swords right underneath it. Look at that. Perfect timing to pack these emotions now. You've done it physically. Pack the emotions. For the Tauruses I'm speaking with, this just didn't happen yesterday, okay? This has been for some time. This has been for a little, for a while. And this person's been waiting for you to come back. But now you done pack your emotions away. You're moving on to Six of Swords. You're moving on to Calmer Waters. You're starting to feel better again. You're starting to do better again, okay, Taurus? And you're getting out of your head. It's the perfect timing. Spirit's saying, let's get out of this energy, feeling trapped, feeling like you have to deal with this this individual feel like you have a contract that you you stuck to. Okay, well, some of you probably do. Some of you are probably married to this person. You gotta you gotta get a divorce or whatever. I get all that. But spirit and universe got your back. They're not gonna sit there and let somebody mistreat you and keep you in this energy. Okay? Because that's what this person did for a very long time, Taurus. Like I said, you walked away physically. They saw you walking, okay? These boots were made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. And that's what you did. You walked away, but still emotionally in your mind and in your heart, you weren't healed. It hurts you so bad. You probably had a teardrop from your face when you just made that final step, okay? And then it kept you in this energy for a long-ass motherfucking time. Please. I'm sorry, Taurus. It kept you in this energy for so long, okay? It kept you trapped and it kept you from, you were having to heal. Look at this lady like she's having a damn headache. She's hurting, you know, but it's in the reverse. You, you, you're starting to forgive yourself. You're starting to forgive this person. And when you do that, you get out of this energy. They no longer have you bound to anything. You've been able to get this, this, uh, this, you were able to get this bandana off your eyes and you were able to get from them get get um, out of this little twine in here and walk right through them sores and get out of your emotions. Do you see her standing in them water? In that water, Taurus? Okay. This is for a Libra Gemini Aquarius card, okay? This is a this is a Libra Gemini Aquarius card, but look at her standing in that puddle of water. Trapped in her emotions, okay? Spirit saying perfect timing. Move on to common waters, okay? Move on to better, healthier emotions. And get out of these. These. That keep you trapped about this person. That got you thinking, second guessing yourself. Second guessing what, who, what you're doing, your moves. You're doing the right thing. Because guess what? If you weren't, spirit would have had everything. This wouldn't have happened in the first place. Do you get what I'm saying? Spirit has you move in a certain way so that way you can heal. Not only forgiving this other person, but forgiving yourself or forgiving these people. Could be multiple people, but forgiving yourself, Taurus. And that's what you've been doing. 
You've been doing this the whole time, okay? You've been doing this. You've been putting in the work. And now this person's stuck. They're trying to send you a message, Taurus, okay? They're trying to send... They're, they're, they're stuck, all right? They're stuck. They want a new, brand new beginning with you. But I think... I feel like this is more like a sexual energy. I don't know why. I'm feeling a bit of, like, sexual energy here, okay? And they have... They still have these secrets, all right? They still... They're stuck now. That's why they've been wanting to reach out to you. Because they want... They want that stick or they want that, that wet, okay? They want to, they, they, they kind of want to restart things up again. Because I have a feeling, Taurus, that maybe in the past you guys rekindled that way. You know, ain't nothing wrong with it. A lot of couples do that. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with you. There isn't. Because, I mean, shit, that's how I would rekindle with somebody. You know, if I, were, if I you know, wanted to rekindle with them. But if they kept me in this energy all the goddamn time and was doing me wrong and queen of swords in the reverse, being ugly and cutting with their words and putting me down and, and then come to find they got me in a third party. So you mean to tell me you've had me around for an option? And I, Taurus, knowing that the nurturers that you guys are, you know, you guys have been in, and this, this card could also mean being in your emotions, okay? This person's probably in their emotions too, but they still have some things that are hidden. If you look at it, these two women are like right underneath the moon and the moon's kind of looking at them like, the moon looks like it's kind of upset. Like, these women should, they, they know they should be telling the truth about something. And then look at this monster in the water. It looks like there's a monster in that water right there, Taurus. If you could see, I wish you could see. It's got red eyes and it's got this hand. And it looks like these women know that they're, like, under the moon doing probably spell work or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm just making a guess. But this is what's scaring me. In the water. You know, water the right represents the emotions. They still got secrets. They still got monsters that they're not telling you. Mentally and emotionally, they're not telling you about this, okay? Taurus, they're not coming out forthright. They could have emotions for an ex or somebody, or there might be something that's attached to them. You know what I'm saying? That's why Spirit's saying use your intuition about this person, because they might have some bad juju. They might have something that's connected to them that's going to bring you right back down to where you were before. In that energy to where you just felt self, you, you felt helpless. They see it, they see you getting your wish fulfillment. And then also now they're noticing your wish fulfillment. They're, you're their wish fulfillment now that you're healed. Okay, I had a feeling towards this person didn't believe in your, in your, in your, in your, in your come up. They didn't believe in you. They didn't want to help you come up. They were so cutting with their words, okay? They were so taking their damn time. But now they kind of see you coming out that healing. You're packing your emotions and your inner energy up. And they're starting to want to come around. Like they like, oh, hold up, man. I, oh, I was trying to be slow at first. No, hold up. Let me get it together. You know what I mean? This person right here has their arms folded. And they feel like they're entitled to you messaging or, or texting them. That's why I said, y'all, this person wants to come at you and fight. They want to argue. That's what I'm saying. They want to argue. They want to say some more cutting words and tell you how it is. And this is the law. And you should have known not to mess me over. And where you think you've been doing. And, you know, they ain't your mama. You got one. You got one mama and you got one daddy. Okay. This person is very smug. They're very arrogant. They do a lot of drinking. I feel they just do a lot of drinking. Especially with this, um, this ace of wands here. You know, they do a lot of drinking. You done gather, gather your strength. See, they see you as wish fulfillment because you, you have strength now. You have confidence. Look at how she's standing there, just confidently looking into the looking into the horizon. Like, Lion, where are we going next? Could be dealing with Leo. We got uh, yeah. Could be dealing with Leo. Could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Got Pisces here. Um, we got we got Fire here. Yeah. So um, yeah, they see you standing pretty and tall. You know. They see you standing in that element, okay? They see you standing strong. They're used to you being in this energy. King of Pentacles in the reverse. That's the energy that they kept you in, okay? They kept you in this energy, Taurus, when they were around you. They were sucking the life out of you, the nurturing, the energy, probably even your pockets. They were just draining. They were draining. You're doing this now. But this is where they have, this is what you were doing when you were around this person. Hence, you listen to your intuition. Then we got the sun card and the fool in the reverse because you're no longer playing these games. 
You're starting to become better and smarter at what you, at what's going on, at what you're doing. You're not. You're no longer. Look, the lovers in the reverse, the top of the deck. You're no longer putting any type of energy into this person, into this connection, no longer. And this person feels that shit. They feel it. Okay. They feel it. They feel it. They feel it. Don't let. Don't let them fool you. That's why I said something feels like it's. Somebody wants you to. They feel like they want. To, they need to get to you so quickly. Like, that's why I said, because you, you're doing healing, you're forgiving them. They feel you packing away emotionally now. You know, you're going to calmer waters. You're getting out of your damn head and out of your emotions. That water that's sitting down there by that lady's legs. Listen to your intuition. The sun card and the full in the reverse. You know, they're stuck. Either they're stuck on wanting to have a passionate new beginning. And it seems sexual. You know, they, they're still hiding some things. They feel entitlement to you. They feel smug, like, you know, like, I, I deserve Taurus. Taurus. Taurus is mine. But they see you confident. They're a little afraid. They're a little afraid, Taurus. They're a little scared of you. But they still want to come and say some words. They want to cut. Look at this, Taurus. Just hear me out, okay, babes? Hear me out. This, this Queen of Swords in the reverse. They want to come and cut all that confidence right out of you that you done built for yourself. Listen to your intuition and, and leave this person be. All right? If they message you, it's up to you. Do what you want to do. Open in the message. Hear them out. Do whatever it is. But make sure you know that it's the perfect time for you to walk the hell away. Walk away and be happy. This person is not the only person on this earth. You loved them at one point. You truly did. The lovers is in reverse. You smartened up. You smartened up, Taurus. Let's get one romance, angels, and then we'll be out this biatch. Yeah, something just, it's early in the morning here, but something's like, Lauren, get up and do a reading for Taurus. Someone's like pushing me, like, I keep hearing Taurus, 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 Taurus. I'm like, Taurus, what? <laughs> you know, like, someone really wants to talk to Taurus, but they're going through my mind to do it. I'm just like, you know, you ain't getting to my Taurus. If he says, she says no, they mean no. The situation is calling for you to have faith, yeah. Have faith. This is all going to work out, Taurus. This person, I have a feeling that at one point you were kind of nervous about them reaching out to you because you just weren't sure what you were going to get. This person, you're not scared of them, but you know the kind of power that they possess, that they've had over you in the past. You've known what they've done. This person's childish as hell. That's what I'm getting from this child. Children may be affecting your love life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This person's a child. That's why they act like a child. Only a child will sit there and want to argue with you and cut you down out of your confidence because they see you doing better. It's like, look what he has. That's mine. You know, a child, that's mine. Look what he has. Mm, you know, throwing their blocks and shit around because they can't have what that person's having. But they actually can have it. They just got to ask nicely. They got to ask nicely, talk with their guides, meditate, do the connecting, do the healing themselves. But they don't want to. They want to come up and piggyback off of your success. Taurus, do what you need to do, but this is the message that I was meant to get out to you today, okay? So, um, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Today is February 3rd, I believe. Today's the 3rd or the 4th. I believe it's the 4th. It's February 4th, and this is in the morning. I'm in Seattle right now, so um, this is a message for Taurus. Um, I'm going to leave this as timeless. I'm going to leave this timeless because I don't know when this, you know, I, I know there's a many of Tauruses that are going through situations right now where they're healing, but something told me to get up and do this message and that's what I'm going to, that's what I did. I followed my, I followed my guides and that's what I'm doing. And you, you need to trust the situation is asking and calling you to have faith. Everything's going to be okay. You just, you got little bits of debris that need to get out of this, this situation, but do what you need to do. It's perfect timing to use your intuition. Yeah. This person wants to argue with you. That's what they want to do. The best thing to do with people like that, if you want my advice, the best thing to do with people like that that want to argue with you, say nothing. Okay? That is That speaks volumes. That speaks loud. That has the volume on number 10. Please understand. It may get them aggravated, but guess what? If you're not giving any of your energy or any of your voice or any of your opinions back to someone that is being ugly, cutting, and trying to be manipulative, then they eventually stop. Eventually, they will stop, okay? So keep being doing you. Keep standing in your power. Keep being strong, okay? Keep, keep, keep being confident. Don't let this person come in and cut down your confidence. Trust spirit. Trust guides. Keep, keep praying to God, okay, Taurus? 
I love you guys so, so, so very much. I love your energy. I love that you're healing. You're doing the work. Keep doing it, beautifuls, handsomes. Keep doing it. You're doing a great job. If no one's telling you, I know. I can see and feel the energy. You're doing wonderful, magnificent, and someone wants to come and take that. You're going to be fine, Taurus, okay? Love you guys, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.